This is a short film, portraying core issues related to the controversy of the contemporary capitalist art world, and the rise of digitalization. Through a satirical culture jamming style, we have integrated transport design, product and graphic design, fine art, performance, and illustration to create a mock-style documentary. Encompassing a dystopian narrative based on futuristic depictions of art. This is the future of art. Looking back, it makes so much sense as to why we ended up this way. Smartphones made us all photographers, then filmographers. Social media made us all influencers, then celebrities. iPads made everyone a digital artist. When they announced NFTs in the metaverse, it was just a matter of time. How am I looking, all right? We're rolling? Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Hello, I am Hilaria Offenders, artist and friend. It started off jovial, ambitious, hopeful, oblivious. Fundamentally, he was out to make a name for himself. Hilaria here. Uh, I thought I'd just come on and answer a few questions I know how I get uh, on a regular basis. Um, Home Bargains has just gone bust. No one saw it coming, but no one predicted the fifth and sixth wave of the virus either. Off the back of his successful social media career, Hilario Fendus has purchased a nearby store and launches his enterprise, Fine Art Bargains. I started this store to give opportunity to artists to get paid fairly for the time they put into the artwork. The biggest problem with the art world right now is that artists do not get compensated. Guys, seriously, how cute is this filter? It makes me look sunburnt, but you know, sweet sunburn. Oh, I love it. Anyway, guys, have you been online today and seen the Instagram blow up? Seriously. Hilario Offender, so go there right now. That guy is insane. Oh my God, I love him so much. I literally live for his posts. <laughs> go follow him. Let's blow this guy up. What is up, guys? I have just found Hilario Offender, and you have got to check him out. Peace. What is this? Who is Hilario Offender? What? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Dave and I work here. At the fine art bargain store. Yeah, well, he says that he pays the artists fairly, but um, I mean, like, I get a wage and that's that's all right. But uh, the, the artists only get paid in experience, to be honest. The, the guy's a fruitcake. Like he, um, he he's designed us in in his image. I don't actually look like this, but uh, like, even though it's a spot look, spot, a hilarious spot, like. Um. Check out this joke, right? Who is he? Hilario Fendus? Get real. I mastered the art of the algorithm and I took the algorithm by the hand and I rolled it to reality. But yeah, just got to do everything I can to try and be as original as I can in the, the Met Art verse. Um, as Hilario likes to call it. Mm. OMG guys, have you heard the news? Hilario Fendus has totally opened up his own fine art bargain store. He took over home bargains. It's insane. I literally cannot wait to go there. Have you seen like all of the amazing stuff he's gonna have? Oh, I can't wait. If you wanna join me, I'm gonna be there tomorrow at 2 p.m. Don't miss out. Here is some incredible artwork. This is high art. I pay heavy price for this art to feature here too. Inspired by the works of others, Hilario created his empire. 
appropriating the works of great artists, he mass-produced and commodified their art. He boasts about his store and claims all works to be his own. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about something a little different. So, does the name Hilario Fandus mean anything to you? Today I'm exposing the biggest art scandal that has ever happened to me. But first remember to hit the subscribe button and support my channel. Check out the link to my process videos in the description below. Some French guy has literally stolen all of my art and is posing as the artist who made them. Considering they take so long to make and, you know, it's not like you can just bump a few out. So today I'm going to take you on a journey to getting legal advice and what to do if you ever have your art stolen. Let's get to it. Fine Art Bargains has failed to make a profit in its first year. Many artists have approached Larry Offenders with copyright lawsuits, resulting in many of the products being pulled from the store. As such, the product quality has steadily declined into nonsense, quick gags and subtle metaphors. However, Hilario remains hopeful that these new additions will bring the customers. This is my new line, named after myself, Hilario. Who else? I have taken some of my most famous artworks. I have created a nutritional and delicious breakfast cereal. Now you can wake up and get arted every single morning. Do not eat the Pop-Tarts, they literally have poison in them. Guys, disappointing news, Fine Art Bargains has really gone downhill. I just ate the cereal, Magritte's, they are disgusting, do not eat them. Literally, the products suck. Ever since you got sued for stealing all that artwork, oh, it's really gone downhill. <laughs> Hilario announces his next big move. Now that the world is going more online, today I am announcing the opening of the Metatverse, the digitization of the finite bargain store. A digital store you can walk straight through. A synthetic experience that even your grand can experience. Featuring its own five star air filtration system. This is the digital experience of art. This is the revolution. This is the rev art revolution. The Met Art Verse has experienced a few teething issues. How can you even hack art? What even is an art hacker? It's bloody digital. How can you how can you steal art when it's digital? What are you that don't make about, no you? sense at all. What don't are you looking at? I'm telling you this, I'm out of here. Alright, yeah, you go, you go, you go, I don't care. Hilario Fandus, is he for real? Like, does he even exist? Is this like a troll? Hi guys, I've been really, really big fan of Hilario for a while now and I was really excited to go and see his store. But unfortunately, after I've come back, I was very, very disappointed. I would not recommend you go at all. So, Hilario's still up to his, the same old shit, really, to be honest. Um, same old Hilario. Um, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, he pays well, you know, I can't, can't, I can't take that away from him. He, uh, it is just strange that he puts more value on his everyday staff than the actual artists to fill up his store, you know, being an artist and everything, so, so he says, um, yeah, so still only ever paid his artists and experience, what's that about, you know? Hilario remains hopeful and boasts about his new products. Here we have the mask of the artist, scoured from the faces of actual fake artists. And now try Tears of Art, bottled by myself directly from the Tears of Artists. This one is from Jeff Koons, my business nemesis. Introducing the new digital team, readily downloadable at all stores, whether physical, Digital or imagined.
Hilario has done some customer research into art purchasing. I have found that the new generation are completely overwhelmed from hearing and seeing the inner thoughts of every millennial Gen Z that has ever owned a Sheetak account ever since they had the new iPhone 30. I think they want simplicity, no? The store is dishevelled and empty. Boxes lay on the floor. People have stolen a lot of the art. Customers mention that it's strange the store looks so run down when it was a digital imagination of the physical store. That's weird, right? When you think about it. The store closes. When they brought in the art thinking software, everything went downhill from there. Now we are all artists. We only have uh, to think about uh, the art and uh, we can see it. Uh, nobody wants to buy art anymore. No? Now introducing DigiThink, where artists become thinkers. Think, and you shall see. Imagine a world without a paintbrush, without paint, paper or pencil. Our new innovative technology will revolutionize your art experience. Imagine if you never painted again. Similar in design to the Apple AI glasses, this product activates a cerebral cortex in your brain that can transpose your artwork ideas onto screen, or project it onto any surface. Think of your composition, and the holographic device will generate it for you. Sit back, put the glasses on and become a virtual artist, on trend and in fashion. This. Is innovation. This. Is the future. This. Is art. Just as they did when they invented iPads and print-on-demand, artists flocked to this new trend. Little did they know that this latest form of art creation would wipe out artists just like the digital virus of 2025. Take the artist away from the art. Take away the meaning. Take away the originality. Take away the authenticity. Take away the physicality. Take away the skill. What are you left with? Welcome to the Met Artverse. Did you think your way out of this? Welcome to the Met Artverse. Did you think your way Welcome out of this? Welcome to the Met Artverse. Did you think your way out of this? Welcome to the Met Artverse. Did you think your way out of this? Welcome to the Met Artverse. Did you think your way out of this? 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 <laughs>